Hey everyone, uh, today we want to share our first time experience with deworming our chickens. Uh, up till now we've had great success with natural uh, preventative measures, but uh, we do have a bit of a larger problem. So we're going to try and do our best to share uh, our experience and hope that we can help some of you guys out there that might be facing the same issue with your birds. Quick disclaimer, uh, we are not vets. We did consult vets and a lot of the information found on the internet concerning uh, treating chickens with medications uh, designed to remove parasites. So if you're unsure, do your own research, get online, consult your vet. Uh, our vets don't treat chickens, so we are going to be treating our chickens on our own today. everyone so uh, here at the homestead we free range our chickens and uh, for several years we've had no issue or signs of uh, parasites but this summer we had a, a, a larger group of wild birds uh, that we couldn't really get rid of and they were uh, everywhere in the coop and in the run so um, uh, we are seeing some signs of uh, some possible parasite infestation so today we're going to go through uh, deworming and what we're doing to treat it. So up till this year we've treated naturally um, using pumpkin seeds and diatomaceous earth and we haven't seen any signs of parasites. Um, this year we did see some signs of parasites and the vets all recommended that um, once you have a, a heavier infestation or uncontrollable uh, amount of parasites then you got to treat medically so we're going to try that for the first time and and share our results some of the things we noticed that uh, drew our attention to the fact that we may have had a bigger issue were um, some of the tells uh, some of the chickens combs and wattles became pale uh, some of the feces had noticeable worms in them which became a concern and uh, a couple of the larger chickens just looked like they weren't putting on the weight that they should have put on before winter. So those were a few of the tells that we started to research a bit more and consult the vets um, for information on what we might be dealing with. So the brand we're going to use is uh, a Safeguard. Uh, we're told by vets that it is the, um, the safer option when it comes to deworming chickens. Uh, it's a little harder to overdose with this product versus... Uh, Invermectin or other dewormers on the market and um, yeah so we're gonna go with the, the vet recommendations and we're gonna follow the directions uh, specified by the um, dose per weight ratio and we're gonna weigh the chicken this one we're told uh, treats um, all your more common uh, worm issues with the chickens your threadworms roundworms sequel gape worms um, basically the more common ones that are, are found. It's active ingredient, I guess, is fenbendazole. So we're gonna weigh um, a couple of different sized ones so you can get an idea of what the dosage might be for your bird. Say about four pounds. This one just decided to get back up here on her own, so we're gonna try and get a more accurate weight on her. Let's see if we can get her back in there. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Yep, about four pounds, ten ounces. Okay, uh, we've got a few different breeds uh, here at the homestead. Uh, this is one of our smallest breeds, the Bantam. Um, so we're going to check her weight. We don't want to dose all the chickens with the same, so I'm going to try and get her into this, which may not work, but get an idea of what she weighs. So it looks like uh, one, one pound, 12 ounces. <laughs> this is our Brahma, the larger breed on the homestead. So we're gonna try and get a weight on her. I know, girl. I know. Easy. 
Easy. Good girl, good girl. You're all right. Uh, about five pounds, 6.2 ounces. Five pounds, six. All right, go. Good girl, you're good. So our biggest bird is the Americana uh, rooster. And we're going to try and get a weight on this guy. I don't know how well that's going to work out. It's probably going to be a lot of flapping. Easy, easy. Whoa. And looks like he's sitting in around six pounds. Good boy. Good job, buddy. Actually, we got a correction. He's sitting closer to eight pounds. Okay, we got our weights all in from our, our different uh, breeds, and um, good news is they're all coming in average for their breed. You can Google that online if you've got other breeds, um, and just kind of get an average idea of what they should be weighing as a healthy chicken. Um, they're all still showing healthy weights, so uh, unfortunately, though, they are there are other signs of parasites, so we're going to treat, and um, we're going to go ahead with the ratio of um, 0.45 to... Uh, milligrams to each pound uh, because our scale that we weighed the chickens with gave us uh, ounces and pounds. Um, to weigh the medicine we do need to use a smaller digital scale that will allow us to get down to that um, you know half milligram ratio. We do not have a scale that measures on the level that this dosage is. Um, the vets say a pea-sized um, essentially our scale uh, in grams won't register what uh, the weight comes out to in grams. So for our five pound bird, it roughly equates to uh, 2.25 milligrams. Um, uh, to grams, you know, you divide that by a thousand and you get your 0 0.00227. So essentially we measured it out and made sure that we didn't register anything on our scale, knowing that we're well under that dose. If you hit anything, if you got anything coming up on the scale, um, it, it's, it's probably going to be a little bit too high. But at the same time, this medication can be applied uh, four times the amount recommended. So... As long as you're not registering anything on your scale again, and if you have a scale that goes further out, then that's even better. Okay, we got our pea-sized uh, medication. We're gonna try and give this this, this girl here. Oh, and it's gone. So she's dosed. Okay, uh, we got everybody dosed. Uh, the corn ended up being the better method. So if you're having trouble getting your birds to take the bread, uh, the corn definitely just kind of give it a squeeze, hollow it out, squirt a little in there, and they're good to go. Uh, we're going to monitor them for the next 10 to 14 days and check for signs of uh, dead worms. And we're going to quit eating the eggs uh, as recommended um, until we we know that they're clear and free of the, uh, the parasites. And uh, yeah, we'll try another dose here in about 10 to 14 days uh, just to make sure everybody's good and healthy for their trip out to the new homestead in 30 days.